I've been there a lot of tornadoes. The thing that sends chills up my spine is seeing something, exploring somewhere that hasn't been explored or seen before. And for me, that's inside tornadoes. When I can map out the winds inside tornadoes, when I can see how they're forming, then I just get a great feeling. It's exploration, it's learning about tornadoes, how they form, and I hope that leads to better predictions and helping people. This is the Doppler on wheels. It's a sophisticated weather radar that's mobile. We can get up close to tornadoes. And if we can get up close, we can see lots of details. Inside is radar equipment. We have a stack of Lenovo computers in there ingesting data from satellites, radars, my radar, tracking systems. We have other vehicles that are dropping these tornado pods. These tornado pods measure winds in the tornado. We hope the tornado runs over them. Then we run up, we connect a computer, in this case a Lenovo ThinkPad, and collect the data and we can see how strong the winds were in that tornado. We're trying to really get at the root of how tornadoes form. If we can understand that process better, then we hope we can make better predictions and increase the warning lead times. We know the broad strokes about how tornadoes form. We know you need energy for thunderstorms. We know you need shear from the jet stream. But what we don't know are the details, exactly which tornadoes uh, which are going to be strong, which thunderstorms are going to produce the strongest tornadoes. So by going right into the tornadoes, by using things like this tornado pod, getting data on our computers, we can hope to really pry back really that veil of ignorance about what's happening inside the tornadoes and inside the tornadic storms. If we can learn more about tornadoes, if we can learn more about how they form, then we can make better predictions. It's that simple. Right now, we only have 13 minutes average warning lead time before a tornado hits. If we can increase that to 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, more people will have chances to get to better safety.